Hi, Tracy Bogan here, author, world traveler, dreampreneur. I'm on day two of a three-day juice fast challenge. I've gone approximately 46 or 47 hours now with no food. All I get are these lovely, tasty juice drinks. I get to make between five and six per day, and each drink is the equivalent of approximately 200 calories. I am not doing this challenge for a diet. I am not on a diet. I've taken on the challenge to detox my body and reset my system. The challenge was inspired, however, after watching the movie Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. The movie prompted me to go and get my body fat calibrated. The normal range for my height and weight is between 18 and 23%, and I'm at 34% body fat. So I decided to start with the detox and just reset my system and thereafter I will decide how often I'm going to incorporate juicing or green veggie blending into my life. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle change. I have decided to make the lifestyle shift. So people have been asking me what am I experiencing? Well yesterday just to be completely transparent with you was a bad day. I started off with high energy after my first couple drinks and then I went and did a speaking job on my trip around the world to my college alumni and after the presentation when we got to the book signing I completely crashed. I was so crashed that on the way home driving I could barely focus, I had no concentration. I got home and had the chills for several hours, had diarrhea, gone to the bathroom urinating probably four or five times the amount of normal in terms of frequency. I had a white film on my tongue and scuzzy teeth. No matter how often I brushed them, they just felt scuzzy. Really bad day yesterday. I ended up going to bed like between 8.30 and 9 just to get the day over with. So today's day two. And all the physical symptoms are gone. I don't have any of those things that I just mentioned today. The only thing I noticed when I woke up is, and I don't know if you can see these on camera, and I do have some cover-up on, but I woke up with 12 big new blemishes, and I haven't had a, a zit outbreak since I was like a teenager. So that's new, and that's just my body detoxing. What I am experiencing today, everything else is good, except the physical symptoms are gone. It's more... Uh, I don't know if emotional is the right word, but maybe I'll say psychological. I'm really connected. I've been backpacking around the world and I've met people from 45 countries who are genuinely, truly starving and malnourished. And instead of having hunger pains today, I'm having more sympathy pains. I can, for some reason, just truly empathize with the feeling that it feels like to be hungry. And I, and I know mine is self-induced, and they have no choice, but I really, I, I, I just, it's, it's, I have some kind of connection and relation on what that feeling feels like to be hungry, and they don't know where their next meal is coming from, and, and I'm just drinking my nutrients. But I, it's led me to have a different awareness today, and a new appreciation for everything that passes goes to my lips and passes in my mouth. I'm just so grateful for every little sip that I get from this. Okay, so there you have it. The other thing to help get me through is I noticed that I, catch, I kept catching myself focusing on the hunger all night long. I mean, even at one in the morning or three in the morning when I have to get up to go to the bathroom, I kept focusing on the hunger and I made the conscious decision to shift my focus on my end result and shift my focus on, on detoxing my body and resetting my system and how good that's going to feel when I get over this, this hump. And when I shifted my focus, all those things went away and I woke up feeling clear and revived and refreshed and excited to complete this challenge. So today's a completely new day. Just wanted to share and I'll keep you updated tomorrow on day three. Happy juicing.